Mikoko pamoja is a community-led mangrove conservation and restoration project in Gazi Bay, Kenya. It involves community-based policing of illegal mangrove harvesting as well as the application of local expertise in mangrove planting. Jina naitwa Mohamed Said Mwarandani. Mimi ndio mwenyekiti wa CBO ya Mikoko pamoja. Kwa kweli Mikoko pamoja ni kikundi ambacho kimekuja kwa kwa mambo ya kisayansi lakini ilikuwa kazi ngumu kuunganisha jamii kuileta pamoja hasa hasa gasbe nikisema gasbe inamaanisha ni vijiji viwili kijiji cha gasi na kijiji cha makongeni the project is managed by three groups the mikoko pamoja community organization consisting of representatives of gasbe the mikoko pamoja steering group which provides technical support and the project coordinator the project is supported by the association for coastal ecosystems SS, a charity that is registered in scotland my name is salim abdala i am the project coordinator of mikoko Bamoda, uh, the first community led carbon offset project uh, uh, in the world and mostly dealing on the mango uh, ecosystem uh, our project our main activity is uh, to conserve uh, to protect and uh, to plant uh, mango uh, forest in, uh, in, uh, in our area. Uh, we are located in Gazi Bay. Uh, it's in Kinondo location, um, Samweni, Sub-County, uh, Kuala County. The key objective is promotion of alternative livelihoods with the main beneficiaries being the Gazi Bay community consisting of 6,000 residents. Activities undertaken include mangrove restoration in the degraded areas, protection of the existing mangrove forests, environmental education in schools and the public on importance of mangroves, and funding community development projects. Money earned through the sale of carbon credits is used to support community projects in education, water and sanitation, and in mangrove conservation. Currently, the project is supplying water to 75% of the community members and has also bought over 600 textbooks for the local schools. Mikoko Pamoja provides a triple win for climate, biodiversity and community. The key success story, however, is that the project in its fourth year has already been able to produce 3,000 tons of carbon-4 oxide or hewaka and planted 4,000 mangroves. Contract with Association for Coastal Ecosystem Services, ACES, Community Ownership, and presence of a coordinator for to professionally run the project were mentioned as the main drivers of success.